Hi everyone, my name is Maggie Cahoon. I will be a junior this fall at King State College. I am pursuing a dual degree in business management and safety studies. I'm also a member of the field hockey team. I'm a tour guide to the admissions office and I'm a member of the student athlete advisory committee. We're starting off our tour here at Elliott Center. This is home to admissions, financial aid, our payroll offices, our academic and career advising, global education office, Aspiring, which is our tutoring center, disability services, our counseling center, and our center for health and wellness. The next stop on our tour is Rhodes Hall. This is home to education, psychology, sociology, nursing, neuroscience, criminal justice, and legal studies. This is a really good representation of our average class size at Keene State. It's about 20 students and we have some great classrooms for that. Campus is located right on Main Street within a 10 minute walk of downtown where we have a ton of shops, restaurants, and internship opportunities. Now we're standing on the quad. This is a gathering space for students, faculty, and staff and is also home to our commencement ceremony. On the quad we have two of our first year residence halls, Huntress Hall and Fisk Hall. Academic buildings surrounding the quad are Morrison Hall and Parker Hall. These are home to American Studies, History, English, Modern Languages, and Philosophy. We've made our way into the Technology Design and Safety Center, or the TDS building. This building is designed to have low environmental impact. It's home to our Safety and Occupational Health Applied Science, Architecture, Construction Management, Construction Safety, and Sustainable Product Design and Innovation majors. This is where I have most of my classes because I'm a Safety Studies major. This is a training space for Safety Studies majors. We have a confined space simulator and a fall hazard protection area. This is an architecture classroom with individual design space. We're going to head into the library now. We've brought you to the second floor of the Mason Library. From this library, we have access to the Keene Public Library, the Interlibrary Loan Services, and the collections in this building support the Keene State Curriculum. I love using the library for the breakout rooms and the study rooms that I can study in with my teammates, my classmates, and just work on stuff for my programs. The library is one of two places where you can get help from the Center for Research and Writing. Behind me here, we have an extension to the library, the Cohen Center for Holocaust and Genocide Studies. This space has a 60-seat auditorium, meeting spaces, offices, and a gallery space. Keene State is the only college in the country that has Holocaust and Genocide Studies as an undergraduate degree. We have made our way to the Putnam Science Center. This is home to biology, chemistry, physics, geography, computer science, transfer engineering, and environmental studies. It's also home to the largest lecture hall, Science 101, which seats around 100 students. All of our students have opportunities to do research with our faculty. We have made our way to the Media Arts Center. This is home to film studies, communications, journalism, and graphic design. Students 
have access to film labs, a production studio, and a Mac lab for graphic design. Now we have made our way into the Young Student Center. This is a really active building. A lot of students gather in between their classes here. It's where I do my homework and it's where I spend a ton of time when I'm not in the class or with my team at practice. This building holds the Office of Multicultural Student Support and Success, our student government offices, the bookstore, the radio station, the Night Owl Cafe, the mail room, the Maple Brown Room, and then it also has some of our dining options, Lloyd's, Bean and Bagel, and my favorite, Starbucks. It's where I spend most of my money. This is the Zorn Dining Commons. It is our main dining option here on campus. As you can see, it's really open with a ton of seating available to our students. We have pizza, pasta, sandwiches, salad bar, breakfast bar, pretty much anything you can imagine here at the BC, which is what we like to call it. We have meal plans ranging from unlimited to commuter packs, and we also have a dietitian that can work with students that have special dietary needs. Our campus runs on a blue light system. This is to ensure that all of our students feel safe at every moment they're on campus. Anytime you're standing at a blue light, you can also see another blue light in any direction on campus, and you just press a button and Campus Safety will answer right away. This side of campus is home to a lot of our residential halls. So right behind me, I have Holloway Hall, and then Butler Court and Owl's Nest, which are home to our upperclassmen. And then we also have Carl Hall, which is one of our first year residential options. We have made our way now into Spalding Gymnasium. Keene State offers intramural and varsity level sports. To my right, we have three rec courts and our suspended indoor track, as well as our weight room and our cardio machines upstairs. We also have our pool and our main gymnasium, which seats around 2,100. offers Division III athletic programs. We are part of the Little East Conference and we have 18 varsity teams competing. We are considered one of the most competitive programs in our conference. Everything in this building is included with the student costs that you pay before you come. Now we are in the Redfern Arts Center. This is home to our art, theater, music, and dance majors. We are currently in the main theater, which seats around 575 people. We have the Wright Theater, which has flexible seating space. We have the Alumni Recital Hall, which seats around 360 people. And we have the Putnam Arts Lecture Hall, which is a film theater. This space is used for student, faculty, and professional performances, and we also have the opportunity to do master classes with visiting professionals. Art classes are offered on the third floor of this building and music classes are offered on the first floor. Pond sides one, two, and three surround Brickyard Pond. These are residence halls offered to our upper class students in suite style or apartment style housing. classrooms and a faculty residence apartment. Laundry services are included with our housing costs and we also have a uh, residence assistants and a residence director in all of our first year and upper class families. To close out the tour I just wanted to take a minute to thank all the people that helped make this video possible. Our amazing admissions team and then Rowan Hopkins, one of our film students behind the camera. Thank you all for joining me on this tour and we will see you at Keene State on campus in the fall.